Climate Action Network, we are a group that fights climate change in Maryland and Virginia. That means that I deal with one company a lot. Your state's biggest climate polluter, Dominion Power. So when I think of Dominion, I think of a company that's really good at two things. I think of a company that's really good at finding anything and everything they can to stick their name on. Uh, including, ironically, you know, a festival designed to celebrate life on a river that they want to dump hundreds of millions of gallons of toxic coal ash into. I also think of a company that's really, really good at giving money to politicians. I think of a company that is the number one campaign contributor to everyone that works in that building, no matter which side of the aisle you're on. So, when you have this company injecting millions of dollars into our General Assembly, you have to look around and ask yourself, why does North Carolina have the fourth largest solar industry in the U.S., and why is Virginia's 30th? <coughs> is it because none of you all like solar? No. <laughs> right. Because every piece of legislation that goes through that building that's designed to move us towards a clean and renewable future that harms Dominion's bottom line gets killed. And I don't say that to make you all despondent. I say it to make you angry because we need to fix it now. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the General Assembly deserves a lot of the blame, but there's somebody else that lives on the other side of this hill right here that also deserves our attention. Governor McAuliffe. So I remember when Governor McAuliffe ran for office in 2013, he was going to be a green governor. He wanted renewable energy, he wanted to fight climate change, save the environment. What happened? Not uh, that <laughs> That's right. Because every opportunity he has had to stand with us instead of Dominion, he has failed us on. He has chosen to stand with Dominion in spite of us. Whoa. Yeah. He chose to stand with Dominion CEO Tom Farrell and announce his support for the Atlantic Coast Pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. He chose to support offshore drilling. He has bragged about lobbying the EPA to reduce our state's clean power plant obligations. He wants our state that is, has a coastline being eroded away by sea level rise to not have to cut as much carbon. And it's time for Governor McCulloch to stand with us and not Dominion. He has an opportunity here to design a clean power plant that will move us towards a renewable future and away from fossil fuels. But that's not what Dominion wants. So it's time for Governor McCulloch to do the right thing, pass a state plan that's going to reduce our carbon emissions, withdraw his support from the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, withdraw his support from offshore drilling, find out why the hell David Taylor for eight months didn't know that coal ash was dumped in the Quantico Creek when Dominion tells us two weeks ago it was, it's time to dump Dominion! Right.